I'm Gabriel Tan, this is Yasha and this is Joseph. And today we'll be asking the question, can we make paper from alternative sources other than wood pulp, other than just wood pulp? So the answer is definitely yes. So now I'll go on to talk about how we make paper from organic materials. First, we have to prepare the pulp, it's like a recipe. First, we have to prepare the pulp. And what we do is to grind this, the leaves and the sugar cane into a fine powdery mixture after, after all these things have been dried. So this is basically the basic pulp and washing, filtering, mechanical hydration. This is the part where we blend the pulp in water, we mix it with stir it water, we whisk it with water and this we wash the pulp in the water to get rid of all the dirt and other materials that we don't want and we filter out the things we need, essentially it's the pulp from the water and then that's our clean pulp. But the next step we have to do is to bleach. So over here we have um, hydrogen peroxide. This is our bleaching agent to transform this, this green colored murky substance into something like this. But also we have a little bit of cheating here. We also use this thing called titanium dioxide. It's a pigment to make the paper your desired brightness. So that is another point. So we get this, this, but we don't get dried paper, we still get this white slurry. So what we do is to use this deco. This is a very traditional method used to make paper. So we pour the slurry onto this deco, and then we submerge in a basin of water, then we lift it out, make it settle. So we try and try again to make this paper as flat as possible. And then after that we use, uh, we use this, sorry, we use this felt, we press on the paper to dry, to absorb all the moisture of the paper. And we press it a few times. Then we also use a sponge to press onto the paper so as to absorb the rest of the moisture. Then after that we leave it we leave this for uh, one day to in the sun to dry out. So that is paper. 